up y'all okay hours later this is actually the same day um carla's been asleep and then woke up out of her sleep she's still in the back talking her smack right i told her she left y'all hanging y'all okay so carla said i left y'all hanging and actually one well, another subscriber was like what happened to like your apartment and your job you just got and all that so i was like okay okay let me make a part two um to this situation so and actually man when i tell y'all um everything played out so good for the kid so maybe about two or three weeks before um i got this whole debacle happened the girl and i had got into it really bad and, and remember we were in really nice apartments she was yelling at the top of her lungs and then i started yelling at the top of my lungs and um all we know is the cops were called and later that night i think actually one of the, the the cops who showed up he was one of the same guys that handcuffed me but he showed up with another cop and they knocked on the door just to see what was going on and by that time everything had, had died down and we were no longer arguing but um we later like i think the next day or the day afterwards because i think yeah we went down because uh the front office wanted to know what was going on as the fact that the cops were called so we went to the front office and um we were just kind of just uh just talking about the situation and during that moment and this is where god looked out for me during that moment they got her to agree to sign a piece of paper with the apartment saying that she would move out in 30 days and that she would leave okay but we never used it at the time so this is about three weeks before the debacle happened with um me getting sent to jail so just keep in mind that paper is on file uh with the apartment complex okay so now back to where um i was locked up and i found out that i had to serve 30 days in jail so yes, in my mind, I'm thinking, dang, what am I gonna do as far as this high ass rent that I got for this new ass apartment, this new job that I got? I mean, and it wasn't a new job, it was a, a new position within the same job. Shout out to all my folks at uh, West Corporation, actually the, the new place is called Alorica, some stuff like that. But um, so I had got a new uh, position in American Express. It was uh, a pilot program where I was, uh, you know, just doing this new thing, whatever. And, but I was really cool with the supervisor and um hmm how did this play out uh oh I was like okay so when I got locked up and I got to the jail place um I had to memorize different people's numbers because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to um like have access to like my phone which was like a little flip phone nothing worth talking about um so I had memorized different numbers until I was able to get like a piece of a pencil and a piece of paper and wrote down numbers. I wrote down the the ex girl number, um, the new girl I was talking to, which I never got a chance to talk to her in jail, and then um, also uh, one of my boss, the the supervisor that I was really cool with. Um, the supervisor that I was really cool with, she actually submitted a two weeks notice. She helped me resign with the job. She she did something to where i was able to um resign from the job so that i wouldn't get fired and it, and it wouldn't look bad on me and all that so she really looked out for me and that's because i had really good connections uh within the inside of that job if i wouldn't have had that then um it, it would have been bad there so i was able to actually go back to that job after a while of getting out of jail but that's a long long road ahead now when it came to the apartment so um i ended up making my different phone calls and um when i finally got on the phone with her the ex-girlfriend she was crying on the phone like i'm so sorry i didn't know i didn't know you had a ward on you and da, 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 da. and you know i was playing the game because i knew that she was the only hope that i would have as far as um and, and this is another thing i didn't even get to tell y'all too she so the job that i was working at i was a uh manager there a team leader 
and she actually had got a job at the same place when i tell y'all she was a hot ass mess up there too she was following me around when i'm having one-on-one -on -one sessions with different agents she's um you know trying to walk up and see if I, it was horrible but anyways y'all so she worked at the same place just um eventually in a different department but um so i played the game and i you know did a, a couple sniffer sniffles on the phone i didn't do too much because again i'm in jail and i keep in mind i'm a pisces and so meaning i am a chameleon there of the zodiac sign so meaning um uh, i'm not a chameleon i said a chameleon there babe <laughs> <laughs> they see me rolling they hate it <laughs> i'm a chameleon of the zodiac sign so meaning wherever whatever situation i'm in i naturally know how to adapt to that situation so the the professional business minded uh, nick that was um at my job with my new position i was her no longer in this this place around in this jail with with all these different places and keep in mind they they put everyone together like the one of the same persons who was um, in jail with us was a lady who had murdered her mother um and she was doing weird shit in there too like as a matter of fact another person who was in uh jail with me at the time um was the lady who did the the shooting at uah so for you those of you at uh university of i mean um huntsville who familiar with that shooting that happened she was in there too the only reason she was no longer in general population is because she uh i think she punched one of the the cops or something so she can get out of there because everybody was messing with her so keep in mind i'm in this area with uh just different types of women who no longer went by the the books of um the rules they no longer played by the rules i was with bitches who were used to being in prison um who were getting ready to get sent off the prison women who had, who um killed their husbands it was several women there who were in there for killing their husbands uh, which i was shocked by that too um but anyway so so i didn't do too much crying or nothing on the phone and i kept my conversation really private and whenever i did cry i cried alone in my cell where no one else could see me and i made sure my eyes and stuff was cleared up before i went out to general population but um so i was harder in jail as a matter of fact it was a situation y'all where like i had to pump the hell out of this girl to like kind of set the tone it's and yeah i probably like what will y'all hear this but um uh, let's see what happened so she was doing something and uh she had spilt some water down where it almost fell on me i said bitch i said you i, I said you almost waste this motherfucking water on me i said <laughs> i said and she was looking down there like what and then um like and i said get out here and pick this shit up right now and i said pick this shit up or i whoop your ass you know i really like I know it, it y'all probably like this this shit don't sound right but when i tell you like i was a completely different person and i needed to, it's like you have to be like that yes because like babe when i tell you it was this one girl walked in there she was so damn big i was like lord i said i really pray that like she don't try me i said if she do then it probably is gonna be one of my last fights her hands were so big i said if she try me then um I don't know it's gonna be bad but in my in my luck a lot of people like me and she was happened to be a cancer and anybody for me with zodiac signs i'm a pisces she was a cancer and they tend to be real hard on the outside but in the inside they're really sweet and she was a big ass sweetheart but if she didn't like you she didn't like you and i was scared for her. she had a big cut on the side of her neck you know from like big fights that she had been in but luckily a lot of people in there they really they was braiding my hair and um you know giving me some of their food from their store they was doing all kinds of stuff they really liked me in there but anyways okay so back to the girl so i played the game spoke on, spoke on the phone with her and i said you know i really don't know what i'm gonna do you know my rent i gotta be able to at least take care of that until i get out i'll be out in um 30 days and she was like i got you i'm gonna take care of it i'm gonna take care of it so she paid the bills for the rent not realizing that i had already i was coming up with a plan on how i was going to get rid of her when i got out so fast forward down the line um i got out of jail um and i actually got out like i think four days early because i was doing like uh i was working for the jail where i, I was cleaning waking up early in the morning cleaning up so they knocked off like four days off of my sentence 
and um i ended up when the girl the white girl she was one who picked me up from jail and it was so embarrassing like when i got out of there babe the stuff that they put me in the clothes like they didn't have my clothes anymore i don't know what happened to my clothes that i got locked up in but they gave me this see-through this thin see-through uh piece of material where you could see me in my bra and my underwear and in the underwear i had was these little thin like pieces of underwear so like it was just and it was this dude in jail like in the whole area he was in jail he had the most humongous penis i had ever seen in my life <laughs> and he was like stroking that bitch i was like oh my goodness get me out of here <laughs> and yes but i was so happy to get out that like all that really didn't matter so anyways i got out and the girl she picked me up in her mustang and um we um got to my apartment i was excited my first meal out was this uh burrito they had at taco bell with the flaming hot corn curl corn uh, chips so i got that and um and when we when i first got to the apartment she was trying to sleep with me she had got bought some like really nice lingerie and shit. i was like right i'm like girl you better go somewhere <laughs> she would put her butt all on me and stuff and i was like no because i was already talking she already knew you were talking to somebody. yeah so she was trying to like i don't know what she was trying to do Girl, so break your relationship but all i knew is it worked out because my apartment like it was still there because she had paid the rent for that that month of it being there and um and uh what else did i have the issues with oh my job i didn't have to worry about that because i was uh, able to uh, resign in the proper way through a two weeks notice letter that my supervisor turned in for me shout out to her um if you ever see this thank you and um hmm. okay the way i got her out of my apartment so remember again back to the fact that she has signed this paper with the um with the apartment complex said that she would move out in 30 days i had already remembered that that was on file so when she was at work i had a guy that i worked with at the time shout out to him eddie he looked out for the kid too um i called him and i, I mean i texted him and i said when she gets to work and this happened probably like a week or two after uh, me being out but i uh, text him and i said hey can you please keep your eye on her while she's there because i'm trying to work on some things here and um if she leaves or anything like that let me know so he was kind of like a lookout for me there while i was taking care of things here so when i got when i arrived to my apartment because i wasn't living in my apartment i was again sleeping in and out of my car and also um in the college dorm but sleeping with the girl that i was so talking to relationship went back to what it was yes yeah i wasn't staying there oh, wow. because what happened was that first night when i didn't sleep with her she went back to crazy bitch mode and got mad because she was like oh oh you going to sleep with that other girl huh oh oh you know like she was doing that because she i think she already knew that i had no interest in her and she i, I don't know she, i guess she fell for the trick whatever so anyways um about two weeks later while she was at work i showed up at my apartment i put my key in i had already called them though like uh earlier that morning or the day before and i asked if they could um change my locks and um her little stuff that she had in there i packed it up i took it outside of her mother's house because the reason her mom didn't even want her to stay with her that's why she was a, a reason another reason she was stuck with me because she had nowhere to go but i said you know what i cannot have this girl in my life anymore so i got her stuff packed it up in boxes and i set it outside her mama's house and i drove back to my apartment by that time the locks were changed and um i left my apartment for like three days I left my apartment because I said, I don't know what she's gonna do when she get there and realize her key don't work. I'm pretty sure her parents are gonna let her know that. Uh, and, and then also keep in mind, her name is has no association with my apartment because they have on file that she signed that paper that she would be out of my place in 30 days. Um, so that paper was on file. So that all of that stuff protected me and my spot to have her out of my place. So that's that's how I got rid of her. That's and crazy. So the apartment complex knew that she had just what y'all told the story that she was just like a girlfriend. Yeah, they knew that we were dating. Yeah. And they was like because of the situation. Yep. 
Yep, they got her to sign that piece of paper. Wow. And I was able to use that paper. Um, it's not like she took it to court or anything, but the fact that I had that paper on file with them, that she had agreed to a move out of my place in 30 days, that's what saved me from like getting her to have any rights. And none of her stuff, not even a fucking toothbrush her, of hers was in my stuff. And her key no longer worked to my door because I had changed the locks. So I had did all that stuff and I left my apartment for three days. And then after that, um, I, I came back and I was living in there. And that was that. So, wow. so I hope that answered y'all questions. If y'all have any more, I'll try to answer them in the comment section. Uh, whew, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy row. And um, yeah, that's why I highly recommend if you do not know how to be alone when it comes to relationships, if you don't know how to heal, when you're getting out of relationships, I highly recommend learning how because you can end up with some really messed up people. Like all the warning signs of that girl was there right in the beginning from the second day I spoke with her. But because I was so desperate not to be alone and to get another relationship, I said, forget it. You know, I ignore it. She was cute. She was really a beautiful girl. Um, it, it's just, she was crazy. So, huh, all right, well. Oh, that was one thing I did do. Um, after I had dated the other girl and we didn't work out, um, I, I said, you know what? I cannot keep getting in and out of relationships. I need to learn how to be alone. So that's how I ended up with uh, Nikki. Um, and I said, I got a puppy. I, I, I got Nikki at four weeks old. We were together and I, like we were going hikes and stuff together when she got of age. And I just kind of like nurtured her and took care of her and I focused on my music too. Oh, and that's another thing. When I got locked up in jail, that's when I originally started writing music. Like I did not write music. I always played instruments like piano, self-taught piano player. Um, what else? What other instruments I played? Um, clarinet, bass clarinet, um, a few treble instruments. Um, what was it? Oh, my favorite instrument was uh, the French horn slash the mellophone, the marching, um, mellow, the marching French horn. So I played a lot of instruments, which is why um, I really love music. I'm really good with like my song selection. But when I got locked up in jail, music was always therapeutic for me. And when I got locked up in jail, um, I had no instruments to play, and I needed a way to release myself. Um, and I needed some type of therapy so I started writing and I had got to a point where I was in jail and I had other people who knew how to sing and stuff but we was in jail like making up songs and like putting on little concerts